And today is day 9 of the fast of Daniel for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And these days have been really great, right? If you are taking time to meditate on the Word of God, if you have been seeking the Holy Spirit, I'm sure that He is very close to you. Very close to you. And you should not give up. Like I said, like I said yesterday, usually people or the devil will try to tempt you to be, to give up, and the the time he tries uh, to make you give up the most is when you are about to receive your blessing. So keep doing your part, and I'm sure that your day is very near. And I would like to to talk to you about a passage that I I read in the Bible these days and I was really thinking about it because my question for you today is what have been making you to stumble? What is it that every now and again you slip there? You are tempted with that kind of thing. Maybe it's something you watch on TV, maybe it's some kind of friendship you have, um, maybe it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, perhaps your thoughts, your feelings, I don't know. But that's the question I want to make you today. What have been making you to stumble? What has, has been making you to fall all the time? What is it? I'm sure that if you, if you are connected with God and if you are really trying to change, you know already what that is. You know already what's that one thing that keeps dragging you down, keeps pulling you down. And I want to tell you to here today what you should do about that. Let's read the book of Matthew. Chapter 5, verse 29. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, Cut it off and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. You know, one common mistake of many people, and I, I've, I've written an article and a post here in my blog about it, is that some people, they think that because they they are seeking God, or even because they already have the Holy Spirit, they think that they are super powerful. They think that they can go right next to temptation and they won't fall. Just because they've been going to church, um, just because they've been, they have the Holy Spirit. And of course, if you have the Holy Spirit, it's going to be harder for you to do something like that. But... The question I want to make you is, why do you allow yourself to even go near that temptation? Many people, um, especially youths, they come and they say, Oh, where is it written that it's wrong to go to a nightclub? What if I go there and I don't do anything wrong? I'm just there with my friends and everything. Well, what goes on in a nightclub? What, what does that kind of environment bring to you? Drinking? Sex? Anyway, drugs, all sorts of things that are against the will, the will of God. So why are you going to put yourself in that position? Why are you going to put yourself in that situation? Or maybe there is that man um, that you feel attracted to. He has nothing to do with God. 
you know, he's not a believer, he's, he doesn't believe in God, he doesn't fear God or anything like that, but you feel attracted to him. Every time you look at him, you feel attracted to him, you feel things for him. Why are you going to allow yourself to be near that person? You see, this passage is very clear. If there is anything that causes you to sin, cast it away from you. It doesn't say just for you not to look at it. It doesn't say not for you to give attention to your eye. But it says, cast it away from you. Your eye, which is something so important. Your right hand. Why? Why does Jesus say something like that? Because he knows. He was here in flesh and he knows how hard it is to resist to a temptation. So if you've been tempted, if you are every now and again stumbling in that same mistake, you have to be um, radical. You have to change things. You cannot just be there, oh yeah, no, but I'm going to be strong this time. I'm not going to fall. I will go near him, but I'm not going to have those feelings. Or I'm going to go do this, do that, but I'm going to keep myself strong. Don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. You can be the most spiritual person in the world. But if you are allowing yourself to even be cl being close of that, that temptation, the devil is going to set a trap for you. And you should never trust your flesh. You should never trust yourself. I don't trust myself. I don't allow myself to be in a situation where... I'm going to willingly be tempted because I don't trust myself. Even though I have the Holy Spirit, there is my own will and I don't want to fall into that. So I'm going to stay away from what causes me to sin. Away. I'm not going to even pass by what makes me fall. And this is, what, this is the kind of behavior we all must have in order to be firm and strong with God. If we keep going after what's wrong or allowing ourselves to be close to that, we're going to fall. And that's why you're going to be frustrated. That's why you're not going to you know, want even to go back again <clears throat> and start everything all over again. Why? Because you led yourself into that kind of situation. So cut it off. Cut it off altogether. Don't allow the devil to have a gap to work in your life. Cut it off. This is the word today. Analyze. Check in your life what's making you to stumble. If it's things you watch on TV, you, you are tempted to watch pornography. Why are you going to be late at night when nobody's home checking your computer? Don't do that. Cut it off. Because you shouldn't trust yourself. Nobody goes there and they access the website for you. It's you who do that. But when do you do that? When you allow yourself to be close to that temptation. So don't do that. Even if you have to take your computer out of the room. I don't know. I'm just giving you examples. But you have to see for yourself the things you've been, you've been allowing the devil to have space in your life. Because if you don't avoid those things, you're always going to fall. So be away, even from the temptation. Don't allow yourself to even be, be close to that and do the will of God. And I'm sure that the Holy Spirit will empower you. He will make you much stronger even to say no, even to the temptation, not just to fall into temptation, but you're not going to even want to be close to what tempts you. All right, that was it for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.